Hi, my name is Dan, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do some simple keyboard imports. Uh, so the setup I've got is I've got a third-person template map uh, created, and I've got a small blueprint that I've created here, uh, which is a, a light switch. Uh, so it has a foot plate. Uh, I'll look at that in a minute. I'll just darken the, uh, the area a bit so that we can see the effects of the light in it. So let's go into the light switch blueprint and see what we've got set up. So first of all, we've got um, a point light. Uh, we've got a foot plate, which just indicates where the switch is uh, for the player to see. And then there's a, a collision box on there. You've probably seen switches like this in my other games. Um, we've got a, a couple of things in scripts in here already set up. So uh, there's a variable down here, which is called enabled. This um, means we can enable or disable the ability to switch the light on and off. So this is to kind of simulate the idea that you probably wouldn't be able to do any switching unless you were close to a light switch. Um, and in this case, you're only going to be able to do it if you're standing on the foot plate. Uh, so if you stand on the foot plate, it, it makes this variable enabled true. And once you step off, it makes the variable false. Uh, the only thing that's going to move in the level is the player character, so we don't have to worry about anything else triggering this, so we don't need to do a test on uh, what kind of object it is that's, being, uh, that's overlapping. Um, there's also a function in here, which is toggle light, uh, and all that simply does is uh, check whether the enable is set, and if it is, it will allow uh, the, the light to be toggled on or toggled off. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the one, one of the keys from the keyboard to actually activate and deactivate the light once we're stood on that switch. Okay. So um, let's do that. Let's go into the event graph, and we're going to get uh, we're going to do this within the uh, the light switch, and we're going to look for uh, the keyboard letter E, which is quite a common unreal. Key to use for activation. Uh, looking for where the keys are. Of course, when you type in E, there's a lot of nodes that could be used here. I'm looking for keys. Please bear with me whilst I scroll through an enormous list. Is it there? That one professional me not to know where to go. Right, let's try something slightly different. Just type in key. Keys get key. Has that limited it down enough? Here's the keys. Right, go up to the kind of E. There it is. So this is an event that uh, is triggered when the E key is pressed. Um, and so effectively what we want to do is uh, call that function. So the function was toggle lights. Toggle lights. Right. Now, it would be nice to be able to do this and demonstrate that it's working. But let's see what's happening because I, I have got this set up so I'm probably moved. There we go. I'm pressing the E key now. You can hear it. On and off, light mouth, but nothing's happening. What's going on? That's what I'm here to explain to you. So the problem that we've got is that the light switch class here isn't set up to receive any input. So I'm going to need to do that. Um, and uh, the best place to do that is in, within the event begin play. I'm just going to do um, enable input. Now, this takes two variables going in. One is self, so we're, we're enabling input on this switch itself. The other thing is the player controller, and it's, it's going to want to know what player controller we're using. Um, get player controller. So that's easy enough for a single player game, which is just what I'm going to show you. It gets a little bit more complicated if you've got a uh, hidden multiplayer game. File. Um, and let's see if this works. Okay, 
see. Yes, my light's on, my light's off. I will again step off. Nothing happening, so that um, bit of functionality that means we've got to be stood on the plates works. There is one more thing that I'm just going to quickly show you inside here. Um, there is potentially another problem that you might find with input, uh, which is actually I've done that, but it's inside the player controller. Uh, third person blueprints, blueprints, third person blueprints. Um, this is highlighted. And down here, there is a uh, setting block input. Now, in the past, when that's been ticked, it has stopped the input from going any further than the third person character. And there may still be circumstances in which it will do that. However, I've not been able to replicate the problem while setting it for this video. So in this particular circumstance, it seems fine. In your circumstance, if you're still having problems and you're not getting the input coming through to your class, this is a place that is worth coming and looking and, and unchecking. Uh, so that's that. Uh, so we've done very simple input using a key. That's it from me for now.